Hello, so this um, book, it well, I should say chapter, is inspired by a different anime. Um, later in the video, it will pop up. I hope, hold up, what is it called? Um, I think it's called Hoshi no Ku, or Kune. I think that's how you pronounce it. Sorry if I did not pronounce it right. And um, in my opinion, it's a really good anime. Or is it qualified as an anime? But please go check it out. It is really cool. So, yeah. It's basically like... Um, the anime version of, um, um, anime version of, um, Steven Universe, if you like it. So, yeah, let's continue. You think that, you think this is the place? Asked a rogue. Yep, that's what our sources tell us, said another. You got the cages and rope already, the leader asked. Yeah, of course, but why did you bring this dead weight? A low lackey asked, kicking a t trap covered cage. Because this dead weight is our bait. Those rocks are have a soft spot for their own kind, especially the weaker and fragile ones, the leader said as he ripped the trap trap tarp sorry tarp away revealing a bold physiolite gem with messy green hair and green eyes his wrist and ankles were tied together and a piece of cloth was wrapped around his mouth you know the drill right deku the leader smiled cruelly mm, mm. deku tried to scream the trappers grabbed the helpless gem as they descended into the caves I'm going to butcher a lot of these names, so yeah. The Ke the Keso people, or gem people, as many humans call them, being made entirely of crystals of all kinds, they are highly sought after by humans because their bodies are made of pure and unattainable crystals. Many hunters seek these beauties for things from jewelry to weapons or just want a shiny servant. Many reasons. So the gems hide in many places of the world, from small islands to deep underground tunnels and caves, anywhere out of human's reach. Please, I don't want to be a part of this anymore. Please, let me go. I tried to cry out, but I couldn't. With the gag in the way, the memories of previous raids star started resurfacing. They would use gems like me to lure others out of hiding. For what reasons they helped me various some communities of gems held in a realistic like community or even ones made up of one kind of gems but when they c got close they were uh, ambushed and locked away in cages they would they would at they would after be turned into weapons and jewelry here place him he here place him here the leader rato said the pl they placed me down a near a ledge and ripped away from uh, ripped away from my gag looking over i could see two gems walking down below i tried to stay quiet as and still as i could so they didn't notice me deku's too quiet roto growled he stomped on my hand shattering it it i could hold back the pain as i cried out it echoed throughout the cave Looking down at the gems below, they quickly spied me and ran away. Good, at least they won't get caught. Suddenly, there was a rattle and a smash, said a large gem. A gem destroyed a powerful punch, knocking three of the rogues away. Deku stared in awe as the scene, and the powerful gem was a bra with a brave smile on his face. But the wind was so strong that Deku was only blown off the edge. Time seemed to slow as he watched the edge grow further and further away. Deku shut his eyes, waiting for his painful end. But a favorite color blur caught his eye. Are you all right? asked a kind voice. Deku looked up to see his hero, to see bright eyed colored eyes with their hair the same color to match. His eyes sparkled at his hero's glimmering, at the hero's hair glimmering beautifully in the moonlight. He looked down to see 
he was being held by the style. Yes, Deku stuttered harshly. Don't worry, you're safe now. As long as you're under All Might's protection, you have nothing to fear. The gem type smiled. Basically, you get to pick your gem type. So, for example, you can be Garnet, Amethyst, or whatever, Diamond. I think you can pick. I don't care. But Deku couldn't help but just stare at this new gem. He was in fluctu- in, as in fluctuation grew, his cap- captures were long to fit. With as a new group of gems escorted him back to their hidden homes. Um, who are you? Deku asked the mysterious gem type. Well, my friends like to call me Yin. They they smiled as they untied Deku. I'm Deku, he said with a beet red face. Pleasure to meet you, Deku, Yin greeted as they handed over him over to the other gems. Ochako, Momo, this is Deku. Please get him properly clothed and make sure he feels welcome. Oh shit, that was All Might. Who cares? All Might with a yellow diamond smiled. No, not that kind. Not like Steven Universe. No, no, no. From that day on, I had lived with the gems for the past 300 years, and my feelings for Yin only grew. They were so brave and confident, and also one of the greatest fighters in the village. One of one of the few gems trained under All Might. Sadly, because I only have made toughness of scale 3, which is one of the weakest, because 10 is the highest and 3, well, 1 being the lowest, just to let you guys know. So, I wasn't suited for combat, though All Might noticed that I was very observant and good w- with notes. So, he assigned me to be an Eliacope, Eli- I think. My job is to take notes of the enemies and encount- inquire the re- record events. And there was some books and s- about stuff I made up. Humans would call them fantasies or stories. Though I didn't mind this being my job because Yin would come by and read my works. I couldn't help but feel lighter than air and embarrassed at the same time as they were reading my work. Yin could always come in after her patrol, come in and read, or more often just sit down and talk to me, though most of the time it was just him listening or to whatever good memories of the human world or my mystery of my original home. I tried to keep my feelings to myself the best I could by just doodling in private books just for my eyes only. But I guess I wasn't the best secret keeper. Wow, dude, you really have a thing for Yin, said a voice. I gasped as I jumped to see Denki, who quickly snatched my drawing book and sped through the embarrassing photos. Wow, you've got it bad. All these drawings are of Yin are you being lovey-dovey, he said out loud, att- att- attracting the attention of Ida and the topaz. And your chocolate, the pink diamond. No. Not that one. Not that one, Steven Universe fans. They quickly came over and looked through my book. Wow, looks like Toya has a love rival. Ochako gasped. Toya had, I don't know how to say this, patriotic gem, was also one of the top fighters for the village and is always Ian's patrol partner, who was also pinning after them too. There was times... He would just randomly jump into our conversations and steal their attention, but I couldn't hear what they were saying. I covered my ears in embarrassment. Oh no, Yin for- forget a- forgot their other sword. Momo gasped. I'll take it to them. I offered as I quickly grabbed the weapon and ran off to the li- off the library. Does he know where Yin and Toya are? Momo asked. <sighs> it even notes that Yin's patrol. T- patrols today dinky said flipping through the pages not paying attention yin and toya stood guard at one of the caves entrance as a warm sunlight funneled through yin smiled as she, she felt the warm light on her powdered covered skin hey yin do you ever wonder what could be on the surface toya asked ever since deku came and told me stories of the surface it only fueled my in imagination, Yin turned to her trusted partner. One day we'll be ones on top, and we'll take 
I'll take you over to the surface, just you and me, Toya said with confidence. That's an awful big promise, to- Toya, Yin said as they sat next to him. I mean, we can always just wait till the humans go to extinction, Toya suggested. <laughs> All right, I'll t- hold you to that promise. Yin laughed as they gently held Toya's hands. Deku watched from the side of the tunnel wall. As he sighed sadly and turned back to, into the tunnel, he wa- wandered the cave tunnels as he hugged Yin's sword closer to him. As he turned the corner, he bumped into something, something large. I felt lighter than air as I stared into Yin's eye-colored eyes. Ah! Someone screamed. How did the enemy get past us? Yin gasped. No, maybe there are other entrances where com- Oh my god, com- com- promised, I suggested. You go check the next entrance over to s- and see if anything is wrong. I'll go check up the tunnels, Yin said as she ran down into the cave, dark caves. With a sigh, I ran next to the entrance that leads to the forest, which was supposed to be guarded by Katsuki and Shoto. Turning the corner, he saw two humans picking up pieces of Shoto and Bakugo and stuffing them into their sack potatoes. Toya quickly drew his sword and cut down the intruders. Toya, too, wor- too, too worried about his partner, quickly s- stuffed the rest of Shoto and Bakugo into the bags, not not caring if he's mixing their pieces, and quickly ran to the village. So I'm going to explain this anime real quick. So if a gem dies, they don't really die until the pieces are put back together. So there's your example. <laughs> Looks like we caught a Philly Lily type. Hold that rock tight, Nomu. A light blue-haired human smiled. The giant mutation humanoid figure nodded slightly as a poor gem in his huge hands. Deku's arms were broken off as he was restrained by the gnomo's brute strength. What fine sword sh- what fine swordship able to slice through rock, said a t- tall human with black purple hair. Let me go Deku screamed as he tried to break free from the gnomo. Nomo shut the pebble up before he alerts the others. The man growled Hey Yin shouted Another one the other human grumbled. Yin, Deku smiled in relief. Let him go, Yin s- said slowly. Nomo, get it. Tomura pointed at the gem type, a.k.a. you. Ran- Yin ran towards the creature and sliced its head clean off with a sharp edge of her arm. Deku stared with worry and sad eyes as he looked over their damaged form. The slight the left section around her face was broken off. An elbow broke off their left arm as they were missing their right hand, and her right leg was horribly cracked, and it, and it, t- and it looked like it was a, could fall apart at any moment. Yin moved swiftly and kicked the human hard in the face. Deku quickly got up as the two ran down the tunnel. Deku looked to see Yin was having a bit trouble keeping up with Deku. Yin, are you okay? Deku asked. Don't worry. Turn right and follow, Yin said as she pushed forward. As the two quickly turned the corner, the humans regained their composure and made chase after the two. Yin pushed the medium-sized boulder away from the tiny hole in the side of the cave wall. Deku hesitantly got in when Yin started to close the opening. Yin, what are you doing? Deku asked as the opening became too small for him to even squeeze out. Hiding you. I'll come back for you. I have to lead them away from the village, Yin explained as they backed away. No, please don't do this. Don't leave me, Yin. I I want to tell you something first, Deku said quickly. Yin smiled sadly as she turned to face Deku from the other side of the boulder. Deku could, could tell they were ready to throw their life away for everyone, for him. Yin, I love... Suddenly, Yin's head was sliced clean off by a th- thrown sword. Deku gasped in horror as he watched Yin's body fall to the ground. He tried to reach out, but he had his—he had no arm to 
called out. Ducky wanted to scream and cry, but no sound came out of him. Yen slowly turned their head towards Deku and mouthed, Please live for me, Deku. They mouthed as the human quickly gathered her broken body. They were in such a rush that Yin's head left Yin's head behind. Deku fell to his knees as he stared at his crush for so long. It felt like an eternity when All Might and Toya arrived. Their eyes widened with horror and sorrow as Toya fell to his knees and held Yin's head. He put his forehead together as he cried out in sorrow. No! Toya cried out. All Might soon noticed Deku and was trapped behind the boulder and quickly moved aside with no effort. Let's go, young Deku. We need to evacuate the village before they bring more of them, All Might said as he helped Deku to his feet. Four hundred years later, it has been a long time since Yin's death. All Might changed in a way after his student's death. If he weren't, if he weren't needed, he would have locked himself away, but the most part, he was still the jolly smile gem he was before. Toya, on the other hand, didn't take Yin's death all that well. He did lose his love, who was his partner for 800 years. He, was, uh, he, started, to call, he started to call himself Dobby and started to cover only parts of his face, giving him a patchwork look. It not only scared most people, but fellow gems too. I, w- I was upgraded to McCann Oh, medic after Momo was taken about 200 years back. Some, we some people over the years and gained new ones too. I helped piece gems back together, but my main goal is to bring Yin back. The village moved up high into the mountains, so high it could be difficult for them to breathe, but humans could risk their lives just to come up here anyways. Some, some came with weapons and tools made of gems, and many times... They were gems, gem stone type. So I slowly put Yin back together, piece by piece. I finished them for the most part, but there were still three large gaping holes in her torso. I tried to use other gem pieces that matched her uh, just a crystal type scale. Yet it only worked sometimes. She would wake up for about three minutes, yet when... When they do, everyone who was watching my work quickly rushed in to tell them how much they missed them and update them on everything. Even Toy, no, I mean Dobby, would come by. Yin was weirded out at first, but they got used to it quickly, and I would never really get a chance to talk to them, but I never forgot the last time they woke up. As they said their goodbyes to everyone, they turned to me and said, I miss you, Deku. I can't wait to wake up and see you again. Yin smiled as they fell back into unconsciousness. I'll bring you back, Yin, so I can tell you how I feel. Whoa, we got a long one. But I hope you guys enjoyed. And if this um, anime sounds nice, or if you like it, please go check it out. It's really good. I don't know where you can find it, but I've watched it before. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Bye, lovelies.